All right, guys, here we are in uh, balcony room 8263 on the Carnival of Miracle. Let's go ahead and take you inside and show you what it looks like in here. We're going out of Long Beach, California, and it's a seven day Mexican Riviera cruise. So I'll let you see what it looks like here. The wife doing the typical uh, fun times deal. Um, this is about basically like every other room that we've been on in Carnival. Little stool, mirror, TVs up there, of course. Um, got your safe in here underneath the TV. Nothing new. Uh, let's see down here. Is your refrigerator like usual? They give you two big bottles of water now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Welcome back for the VIFP club because we're gold members. So there's that. We got our pins. I don't know if you see that in the good thing. Uh, let's go over this way here and show the rest of the room. What I'll do is I'll show you different angles real quick and I'll take you out on the balcony. There you go. Looks like that's a fold out bed right there, but plenty of space. Let's show you some of the closet space. With another giant stand up mirror, which is nice. There you go. Check out the other ones. Hangers. And we'll check out the final one. Robes, life preserver, all that fun stuff. Let's check out the bathroom real quick. Typical carnival bathroom, same old colors that should be, need to be start updated. The tiny showers that it's always hard to fit in like usual. A lot of people ask this question right here, does it have any regular soap? They will actually deliver it to your room, but you have shower gel here and the shampoo right here. This is typical of every carnival cruise ship we've been on. This is our sixth one and this is her seventh uh, standard mirrors and stuff here here's the soap is what I'm talking about right here it comes in there and so you a lot of times we just throw these in the shower because we don't like shower gel as much so you can see it's not a big bathroom but typical uh, plugs so the shaver style you have your plug over here we always recommend bringing a power strip if you're gonna do this always bring a power strip we go to Walmart and buy them so it looks like these other ones are blocked off back here where some cruise ships you can easily get back there to plug them in so that's our tip bring a power strip for other stuff so there you go there's the carnival miracle this is going to be uh, 2015 it is uh, august 29th sailing yeah august 29 2015 sailing let's take it on the balcony real quick don't want to slam the door or anything like that As you can see we're in uh, long beach so there is the queen mary Right there, that is really cool. Zoom in on a little bit for you. Then we got the old dome where they used to keep the Spruce Goose. Howard Hughes' plane is right there. That's where the actual carnival check-in is in now. That's where the Spruce Goose used to be held way back in the day. Uh, your typical small carnival balcony, nothing huge. One chair will lay back as you see right here. You said it, the other one does not lay back. So I'll get up over here and show you the other end too. And there you go. So that is all there is to the room, guys. Let's see, there's Long Beach. It's some nice, amazing views. There's the main floor of Long Beach. Let's see, I'm all loading the luggage and everything up right now. Well. I will be recording lots more footage. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe because we do at least three or four cruises a year minimum all over the United States. And we try and go, we're trying to really spread out now and leave the, some of the basic areas. But there you go. If you like it, subscribe. Hey, drop me a comment if you have any questions. This is our 18th cruise in the last six years. So we're starting to get a general idea of how to do everything now, if you know what I mean. So, all right, guys, take care. And I will see you all at the very next cruise. Later.